A delegation of traders and business owners from Yu International Trade City of China has donated assorted scholastic items to needy students of Luyanzi Institute of Technology, Boyogiriri. According to the chairman Uganda China Friendship Association and director Yulianzi Institute of Technology engineer Ayub Soma this gesture is part of the long term understanding with the Chinese community China is having the fastest growing economy in the world today Now with that background any country that is still in the development stage that is not taking advantage to align itself with this kind of economy, then it will lag behind. And therefore, it's from this focus that at Luyan's Institute of Technology, we are aligning the Ugandans to benefit from this. Engineer Ayub Soma expressed gratitude to the Chinese businessmen and traders for their relationship, saying it is a great milestone in the efforts to cement the brotherhood between Uganda and China. Because we all know that uh, uh, we are having now very many Chinese companies here. We are having, uh, today we are having about three industrial parks. More industrial parks are coming up. Now, all these, they will require skills. Now, it is important that we, as the Yans Institute of Technology, we ensure that we promote skills development plus Chinese language. Uganda government, through the Ministry of Education, embarked on teaching Chinese language as part of the secondary school syllabus, and over 150 teachers were trained to carry out the Chinese choreography. <laughs> Uh, I would like to appreciate your help that you have always uh, rendered to us every day. Promoting language together with skills so that we are able to contribute to the development of society. The president of Uganda, EU Chamber of Commerce, J. Yo Ming, says the donation worth over 36 million shillings from the Chinese people is a sign of strong relationship with Uganda. Basically, the spirit of the EU people, because for our, uh, when they are when we are very young, we are educated and uh, we are we are learned that we need to we need to do things, we need to do the good things. So this is basically the EU spirit. With now many Ugandans yearning to learn Chinese language and culture, no doubt the trade relationship between the sister states is going to improve. Aviona Francisco, UBC News.